Well, my goals are to reach out of my comfort zone for more gestures, especially with the left hand, and do those in time, and then, under your advice, I'm, I'm exploring different baton. Okay. Okay, so which is the one that you're... Okay, cool. So we'll just tell you how this works. Okay. And we're going to, first movement, we're going to start at measure 13. I'm saving the beginning for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Measure, that's the right after. You, okay. Up just for a second, okay. Uh, good, you know, and I, I know you're working on this and all the things that you're working on. I think you just you keep getting better at all of this. You just need to keep working on them, you know, for longer periods of time. So when you watch the video of your previous time, what did you think? What 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 are the issues that you took from that? Of uh, oh, my previous time, yes. That a lot of my gestures were absent of any sort of internal pulse. Mm -hmm. That I actually that's better today yeah, than it was the last time. That was a, that was actually kind of a major problem <laughs> last time. Uh, so occasionally that's a little bit of an issue, but that's it's, it seems like this is much better today. I don't know what the reason for that is. Thinking pulse or I don't know. It just I, I happened. Just working on that particular okay aspect of it. Um, I'm sure, and I felt myself doing this time like. Yeah, there's a little of that. The guppy syndrome we call that yes. when you're not really taking in a breath, but you're going. Yeah, so that's not usually helpful. <laughs> what else? Um, Anything else? Nothing comes to mind. Okay, I think there's. I wish that from from my standpoint, you may not feel this at all, but as I watch you conduct, there's something uh, that sk still gives me the impression that it's not comfortable, uh, or as comfortable as it could possibly be. And, and I'm just talking about, uh, it seems to me that your elbows quite often get back here too, too much. Uh, whereas I just think it's, it looks more comfortable and you can actually, it's much easier to move from side to side so that you don't have to go into big contortions about where you put your feet. If your hands can just move in front of you, that's why I usually like to suggest to people that your elbows stay in front of you, you know, two or three inches so that there is room to to move this way. It also sets up what seems to me a more natural feel. I always, uh, when in a beginning conducting class or when you know, somebody talks about how to stand a posture, I always like to just suggest that someone took a basketball and pitched it to you and you caught it right in front of you and then you just turn your hands over and that's where you start. I mean, it's just so it's a normal position. You wouldn't, 
usually catch it and hold it here, uh, nor would you do it that way. So you just sort of this natural position and you put your hands down. So I would just think of that, keeping your elbows in front of you. I think that might help because it seems like it makes this all tight here. Uh, can we just pick it up at E?